what we do is we can take the first approach that is called Emery tree approach. So let's take a little bigger example and understand if array is one, two, three, four. We say one is already taken in the path. And whenever we make a record simple, we say first print this subsequence that we have generated till now. And after that, the next possible options are two, three, and four. Right? So when we come here to two, then we say, let's say it is one. We print that. And then when we come to three, one was already filled. We say, okay, now it will be one, three and print that. And when we come to four, we say it is one, four and we print that. Right? And we do not stop there. From two, we evaluate what are the next set of choices. So if we are at two, after two, there are two choices. So we can say we can fill three, we can fill four. So when we come to three here, we say it is one, two, three. And when we come to four here, we say it is one, two, four. Right? So like that, we keep on going and keep on printing everything. So let's take a look at how do we translate this approach into code. So we have to print all the subsequences of this array. What we will do is, as usual, we'll take a path array of size n because subsequent size will not increase n. So that's what we will do. And we will write a helper function. So we will say from here, generate sequences starting with every index. Right? So that is what we will do. So we will say for int i0, i less than so we will call a function to which we will say, so we will say print subsequences helper. And we will say in this array A of size n, what you do is you go and start with index i in this path and pi is the index of this path. Initially, that will be 0. So we will start filling this path array 0 index onwards. So this function, that helper function we will write, what this helper function will do is we will say this helper function's purpose is to at all subsequences starting with index idx and fill this path array p. and pi is the index in the path array that this is the usual helper function approach that we have been using in all other problems of that so when we come in here what we need to do is we'll say p of pi let's fill the path and after we have filled the current element we should be printing this part p of pi. This we will write a separate function which will print this part. Placeholder for now. So for it, for intro, intro. This is last index. So that is the inclusive index that we need to print. After we have printed this part, now we have to worry about the energy tree approach. What are the next possible choices? Till next possible choices and the way we do that is we'll say for int i is equal to idx plus 1 now next possible choices will be next index onwards and when we call recursively here what we will do is we'll say this a n this time our idx will not remain idx it will become i it will remain P and pi will become pi plus 1 because just now we filled the pi location and next recursive call should fill pi plus 1 location. Eventually when this keeps on going at one point will a point will come where our index that we have will exceed the boundary of the array. So if index is greater than or equal to n we simply say return. So this becomes our boundary case. Now here if we try to visualize this with an example then what exactly we are doing is we were calling this function initially with 0th index so we are saying that this is our path array our original array is 1 2 3 4 so first we said go and fill this path array's 0th index we passed pi as 0 we pass idx we said fill this path array with numbers from this array starting so here when we come initially in path array we put 0 here, 0th index, we put 0th element of the array. After 0 is filled, we say let's print the path. So that means, sorry, this is not 0, this is 1. Because we are putting a0 and a0 is 1. So after we have filled this, we say let's go recursive 1 by 1. 
and start with the next set of indexes. So next index of this i, this function will be 0 plus 1. It will start with first index. So here idx will become 1 and pi will also become 1. And second place idx will become 2 and pi will remain 1. So that's how we are going down this tree. So in order to run it, let's complete our print path function. So we say for int i 0, and set set star, set set equal to last index, and plus plus, set set, person b, space, set a of i, and we have to give a new line also, so that every subsequence is printed on its own. So this is the function that we have written. Let's go and compile this function and then run this function. we do g plus plus being zero subsequence hit enter and we see the program got compiled and now if i run this program a.exe enter you see like this program will go and generate all the subsequences and here we see that all possible subsequences of the given array one two three four are printed. so that was the energy tree approach we'll also take a look at the next approach of sequence generation that we will call as binary tree approach